Okay, it is time for the purge to start. Someone's coming. Uh, did my tigers just talk? Oh, they're on the top of my house. <laughs> what the hell? Welcome back, everybody, to Conan Exiles. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are probably, almost certainly, going to get a purge. So, uh, yeah, if we take a look at our purge meter here, uh, it is all the way up to the the line. Once it hits this line, then it then it could happen at any point in time between this one and this one. Uh, usually, in my experience, once it hits the line, it happens pretty quick. So we'll just have to see, you know, how things go. Uh, but anyway, uh, we spent some more time, me and the and the animal friends here, um, out uh, just continuing to level after I left you guys in the last episode. Um, and we went up to the savannah and got uh, quite a bit more um, hide. Um, so we got like 1,749 thick hide plus 594 elephant hide. We killed a bunch of elephants. Um, and then I picked up two more elephant calves and three more tiger cubs as well. And so... Uh, we're going to take those guys and put them in the uh, animal pen and get those get them going in hopes that we can... Well, we have to replenish our elephants entirely because we lost them, both of them. <laughs> um, and then uh, hopefully we can get a greater tiger or two or three. Um, three would be great. Uh, so let's get those going first. And then... Um, yeah, so let's get those in there. And then I'm going to do some inventory management... Here now, I got to thinking. Uh, depending upon the type of purge we get, e it, well, even if we get like an animal purge, so you know, hyena purges are are common uh, down here by the river. Um, a lot of times, you know, um, NPCs will still show up even with the animals, and it would be really good if we could capture a named NPC. It would be really good. So, what I'm thinking I might do is I might actually there's two tool schools of thought. I could put the wheel here. Um, by the base, and then, you know, if the purge comes from that direction and attacks it, we just defend it. Um, or I could put it, like, up there on that ridge, away from here, where the purge will not likely attack it, and then if I happen to get lucky and capture a named thrall, I just drag it up there and throw it on the wheel. Um, I'm kind of actually favoring the idea of just keeping it here, so that way I don't have to be running back and forth. I can just kind of stay in this area so i think we're going to do that and you know absolute worst comes to worst if they happen to actually destroy the wheel well they destroyed the wheel and we just make another one and move on so i think that's what we're going to do uh, so let's grab our wheel here and uh, we're going to go put that just right out here where we have some space and uh yeah let's get that in place there uh, we might as well throw some uh some gruel in there now because it's going to spoil in there or in here, one way or the other, it doesn't kind of doesn't really matter. And something else happened too while I was leveling the animals in the savanna, uh, unintentional, but um, Simba or Mufasa or whatever you want to call him, the 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 one skull boss line that's um, up at the top of what's called Swagger Rock. Uh, somehow or another, he aggroed on us because we were down below it, and he came down and fought us, so we killed him, uh, which wasn't a big deal because he's just a one-skull boss, so it wasn't hard to kill him. But what he did is he actually dropped some Shade Bloom, which is very, very rare, and we're very, very lucky to have um, obtained that this early in the playthrough um, because normally you, you don't usually get that unless you go through um, the Midnight Grove dungeon. Um, you or you can on a very rare occasion get it off of a world boss which is what happened to us so yeah we got some shade bloom which is really cool and if you didn't know what shade bloom does it allows you to make special food for taming that increases the chance of you getting a greater version of uh, of the animal that you want to tame so in the case of tiger cubs which is really all i'm interested in um, i'm going to actually tab out here for a second and bring up the wiki and take a quick look at it i think well actually i don't remember what it is so that's why i gotta look it up here okay so let's go to the wiki we'll go to taming and we want to look at tiger cubs okay so um if we feed okay so if we feed him shade spiced raw tough meat we have a 30 percent chance 
of getting a greater uh, tiger. And that's the, that's the best one that we can do. Okay, so we need shade spiced raw tough meat. But in order to make that, we're going to actually have to make a stove, which we need to do anyway. So let's go ahead and see what we need to do to make a stove. Uh, so we're going to go to feats. Oh, uh, I have 74 more points too, by the way. I've, I, I spent a few more points off camera while we were out and about. So I've got accuracy and grit up to the fourth perk now. And uh, so we're going to get strength up to this next perk. Uh, that gives us uh, brutal strikes. Each heavy attack now inflicts 15% more damage, which is pretty nice. Uh, the fourth perk in this one is flattening shot, which, I've, uh, which I told you in the last episode I wanted to get. So now we have that, which is cool. And then basic attacks cost less stamina with this grit. Okay, now let's just move. Uh, I think we'll move on down to vitality next and start pumping that one up so we have a larger health pool, among other things. Okay, let's go back into feats, and we want to look for stove. Um, oh, I've already learned stove, so I just need to actually build it. So what do we need to make an improved stove? Maybe we can just go straight to it. I'm not sure. Improved stove requires 50 steel reinforcements, which I have not made in hardened brick, which I also have not made. Okay, let's let's just go with the stove, the normal stove now, because we can use that as well. And we'll make an improved stove at some point later on, of course. Uh, so this requires 50 iron reinforcement and 150 stone. Okay, so let's grab 50 of these. And we just need 150 normal stone. There we go. And then let's get that crafting up. Now, where to put it is the next question. I guess we could put it... We'll probably put it right here or right here. It's going to be tight getting in either way. Um, yeah, so I guess it doesn't matter. Let's. I'm kind of thinking I might want to put it here. So let's turn it this way. Uh, I guess that's the outside. Not that it matters a whole lot. Yeah, let's just put it right next to the, the tinker bench here for now. Make sure that it's square. That's pretty close, I think. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now, if we look in here, uh, we're looking for Shade Spiced, uh, what was it? Shredded Meat? I'll recognize it when I see it. Fatty Meat, Gold, Gold Dust, Highland Berries, flesh, Iron Ore, Oily Fish, Perfect Cut. There's a whole bunch of them here. Raw Stringy Meat, that was, I think that was the one, right? Here, let me tab out and look at it again. Uh... No, Shade Spiced Raw Tough Meat. That's the one that we need. Shade Spiced Raw Tough Meat. So, where is that at? There's Raw Stringy Meat, Raw Succulent, Raw Tough Meat. This one here. Okay. Uh, so, that requires 25 exotic flesh and a Shade Spice. Okay, so... We have quite a bit of exotic flesh that we got in the savannah, as you can imagine. Uh, so let's grab 50 of these. And then I already have the shade spice in my inventory. Uh, we're going to need to put some fuel in the stove. So let's just grab a couple hundred dry wood and we'll just keep those in there. Okay, and then we'll put those in there and then we put two shade spice. Actually, we'll just put them all in there. Whoops. And then, uh, raw tough meat. Okay, let's craft two of those. Oh, we got to turn the fire on, too. And we'll stick those in the taming pen for the for the tigers. Um, oh, actually, I have three tigers, don't I? I can't remember now. I think I have three tigers. I've got two elephants and three tigers. Yeah, okay, so we need to make one more. So i got to get 25 more exotic meat. I'll take care of all this inventory management off camera. Um, but I was kind of half expecting the purge to happen as soon as I logged in. So that's why, uh, you know, I logged in when I did. Okay. So uh, we want one more raw tough meat. Uh, oh, craft one. And then for the elephants, I actually want the elephants just to be normal elephants. So in their case, we're just going to feed them. I, I think they like bark. Uh, either bark or 
Um, oh no, let's not take all of those. Uh, either bark or or grass, uh, you know, grass um, plant fibers is what I'm trying to say. What the hell? Here, put these back here. Oh, there we go. The followers of Azure. So this is going to be a human purge. What in the hell am I doing? Okay, here. Shift click two. There, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> uh, a human purge. All right, so let's um stick these in there. That gets the three tigers going, and then those two gets the elephants going. All right, well, hopefully we'll luck out and get a greater tiger. Uh, we have a 30% chance for each one of those tigers. Okay, <clears throat> so the problem with the human purges <clears throat> and animal defenders is, you know, if I had human thralls, I could give them all truncheons and then they can just knock everybody out and then we can pick and choose who we want. But obviously we can't do that with the animals. So this is going to be, uh, we, all, we will almost certainly get some named thralls, but it's going to be very difficult to capture them before the animals tear them apart. So um, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to handle this. Uh, we've got our truncheon ready to go. So, all right, well, I'll tell you what. I will, uh, I'm going to cut the camera and, and just try and do a little bit of quick inventory management. And then uh, when the purge starts in 8 minutes and 42 seconds, I'll bring you guys back and we'll do our first purge. Okay, it is time for the purge to start. Someone's coming. Uh, did my tigers just talk? Oh, they're on the top of my house. <laughs> what the hell? I wonder if it's because... I wonder if it's because there's water surrounding the base. I'll bet you that's what it is. Yeah, darn it. I forgot about that. Okay, let me see. Is there anybody up there that's a named? If I point my my bow at them, I can see. No, I think they're all just... What about this individual? Yeah. Okay, I need to get them down here. So that's funny, man, that they're all up on my roof. Uh, I probably should make like a bridge over here for these guys so that this doesn't happen. But, you know, I mean, as long as they don't actually damage our base. That's hilarious, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even sure how I would roleplay this. <laughs> OG's like... He's all of a sudden under attack, but it, everyone's on his roof, and he can't figure out why. <laughs> that is so funny. Right. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to build a bridge over to our island. So, um, you know, if we get a purge, if we're still here for the next purge they have a path to get to us and hopefully that will prevent this from happening. <laughs> but for now, um, I don't know that much we can do about it. Is he? Okay, hold on. It's not showing me what he is. Ah, oh, he's just a level one exile. Okay. Maybe, oh, you know what I might be able to do is if I get, here, let's grab these really quick. Let's see if we can make a quick bridge over here. Um, trying to see where the shortest path to land is, probably right here. Okay, we need to make a few more. If that worked, that would actually be really good, because then we'd funnel them all uh, just up through there, right? We've got 15 seconds before they come again. And I'm encumbered. Yeah, I'm... Uh, <laughs> OG's at a loss to try to figure out why these enemies who are attacking him decided to come up on his roof. He doesn't uh, quite understand what was going on there. 
Uh, why isn't that placing? For some reason, it's not placing right here. Well, okay, well that didn't do us any good. Uh, shh, I'm gonna have to drop this. It sucks, but... Okay, I suppose the good part about this is if someone is named, I could potentially get up on the roof and get them without the animals getting them. Ivorian exile, Stygian exile. She might exile. Okay, there's a frig of false hope. Okay, so we do have a named Thrall up there. Let's see if we can pick off these other guys and get her. Hopefully she stays up there. At least my bow can one-shot him, so... Oh, did she just die? Oh, she died on my spikes. Oh, that sucks. Damn. Uh, yeah, I think she died on my spikes. Uh, oh, wait, did she? Okay, hold on. I can't tell. She had... She had, like, red hair. Is that her? It's not registering. Okay, here. Let me go around this way. Is that her? I can't tell. That's Sumerian Exile. No, that's not her. Quit banging on my stuff, you dummy. Okay. Um, are these guys anything at all? Like even... I mean, a level one craftsman is better than no craftsman. I totally do not want a level one fighter. Not worth it. Okay, what are you? You're a level two fighter. Yeah, I don't really want level two either. <laughs> My animals are all up here. <laughs> oh boy, it's too bad we didn't start a religion, man. We could have collected so much stuff, but just couldn't get that far. Okay, well, um. They had, you know, that group had spawned before I had completely finished the bridge. So maybe the next group will will come in over here. That would be really good if they did. Here, let's pop one of these. And, um... What happened to my bandages? I must have accidentally dropped them. Wow, that sucks. Really sucks. Okay, they were in here banging on stuff, so we have to watch that. Um, I'm going to have to uh, get make a, a repair hammer and come in here after this is all done and check stuff. Okay, there's some more bandages there. Okay, here they come again, up on the roof. Yep. All right. Yeah, see, when they get down below, they hit my fence, which damages them. Any named okay that there, there's um there's a that confessor guy is a tier four taskmaster. But I don't know if we're we have a snowball's chance in hell in actually getting him. Because if he gets down on my fences, the fences are gonna kill him. He's coming around this way. Here, let's let's see if we can get him. Where did he go? He's right here. The problem is I have a whole bunch of other people here. Okay, I almost got him knocked out. Come on. Okay, he's down. He's down. Now I gotta get I gotta get out of here myself. <laughs> he might still be taking damage. I don't know, but um. We gotta clear the rest of these guys out of here first. Now she's standing on my spike, so she's dead meat. Oh, God, take you. Die. 
Yeah, I don't know if my named guy's gonna survive this or not. But having a, le a tier 4 Taskmaster would actually be a really nice draw to have this early on. Uh, let's get this down here. Oh, let's see if he's still up there. Uh, nah, he was killed. Shoot, that's too bad. Yeah, it's just really difficult to... Um, to do this with them all, you know, because as soon as they hit my fence, they start to take damage. Oh, somebody in the house there? Yep, well, that's it for the purge. Okay, well. <laughs> Look at all these bodies here. So OG is like thoroughly confused about... Why he got attacked, first of all, in the first place, because, you know, he hasn't... Well, he's he's kind of killed a few Defaris, but these weren't even Defaris. These were a whole different faction who he hasn't really come across yet. And um, he's totally scratching his head as to how in the world these guys um, were able to... Oh, uh, which one do I want here? These guys were able to, here we go, get up on his roof. <laughs> He's like, how, why were they on the roof attacking? I don't understand. He's like really confused. He's pondering that and trying to think what's going on. Uh, the reality of it though is for those of you who don't know, um, because I'm on an island and there's water surrounding the whole place, what the game will do is they'll just spawn the purge right on your base. And I just completely forgot about that. So what I'm gonna do between now and then is I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this back up and I'm gonna build a bridge proper um, to here, probably over to to there, and maybe even over to this side. I don't know if that'll make any difference or not, but we'll try it and you know see if, if it does. Ah, that's too bad though, man. We just about had a named Taskmaster. That would have been so nice for for you know taming. What I should have done and I just didn't think about it is I should have had my binding on my toolbar so I could have just grabbed him immediately and s stuck him over here but I had to get out of there myself because you know I was taking lots of damage so anyway well that was our first purge and that you know I have the purge difficulty turned all the way up to six so that's as, as difficult as it gets and that was a lot of people but um you know the fact that they were stuck up on the roof like that and actually worked in our favor in terms of not getting rushed but even if we had that I mean our animals would have just annihilated them anyway um okay well let's take a look and see where we at you're level 18 you've got a health and a survival bonus which isn't that great what's your overall health pool 41 let's see what you have you've got sharp claws which is really good you're not quite 15 you have level 14 and you got scavenger which is not good Really? Not all that great. And this tiger here is level 18. He's got jack of all trades, which is good. Unflinching, which is eh, okay. But he's got a pretty decent health pool. So this is probably our top tiger right here. Our rhino is jack of all trades and stone limbed. Very good. And he's got a health pool of 56. So the rhino is actually doing quite well uh, with his perks as he's leveling up. And he's level 18. So... Okay, well, um, yeah, that was our first purge. It was kind of fun. It was weird, too. Um, Cranky, get off the spikes, man. What are you doing? Um, it was kind of kind of a weird purge, but <laughs> that's the way it went. Uh, so what I need to do now is I need to... Here, let's call everybody here and stop mm -hmm. following. You guys just chill out for a minute. Uh, I need to see what was damaged, and so what we got to do is we got to make ourselves a hammer. Uh, so let's look at that. A steel repair hammer. We just need three branches. Because they were in here, um, you know, banging on our, our stuff, but I don't think anything actually got destroyed, as far as I can tell. So we'll see how much damage was caused. So, let, let's talk just a little bit about the lore 
behind the perches. Um, yeah, this this was this took about five thousand points of damage, but it still wasn't close to being completely broken. This is fine. See, when you hold a hammer in your hand and look at something, it'll tell you you know what its health is and so forth. So, to just okay. See, that's that took some damage too. So you're basically, if you see anything with red text, you know that it's going to need to be repaired, and then it tells you what you need to repair. I'll do the actual repairing later off camera. I'm not going to do that right now. Anything that shows the hammer icon uh, is indicating damage. No, no major damage, but quite a bit of damage, which is to be expected. I mean... The damn purge was in our house the whole time. <laughs> or on our house, I should say. So yeah, I'll do all that repairing off camera uh, later. Okay, so anyways, the, the, the lore behind the purges, for those of you who don't know, um, and the, it, you know this comes from the actual Conan lore itself, is that... Um, oh, I'll take that. I might as well take the wood too. So the exiles who are put into the exiled lands... This doesn't apply to OG because, you know, we're doing his own backstory. But um, the king of Stygia basically made a deal with um, the sorcerer um, Tothamon, I think his name is. Um, and, and so basically what they did is they actually created the exiled lands and they look for excuses to, to exile people here, to imprison them here. And then what happens is there's a lot of rich uh, lore and relics and treasure here from the from the old race of the giant kings. And so all the people who are stuck here start looking for these things. And then every so often, um, the the king of Stygia sends troops into the exiled lands to raid it, and and steal all of the the relics and artifacts that the you know that the people here have have found. And everybody's looking for these things because you know there's a hope that they'll be able to find something to free them from the bracelet. So that's actually the lore behind the purges here in the game, which is pretty interesting. Um, so it's not just something, you know, that Funcom made up uh, as part of the game, but it's actually part of the actual lore of the Exiled Lands and in Conan lore itself, which is really cool. Um, so in the case of OG, he, you know, he didn't really know this was going to happen, of course. But you know he has been he has been killing some Defaris in the area, and he you know he definitely has a footprint here, and he's building himself a bit of uh, of an army, even uh, of animals, and so he supposes that you know word has gotten out that you know he's becoming stronger, and so this um this uh, what were they the exiles, this group of people calling themselves the exiles tried to do a preemptive strike to, you know, to, to stop him from getting any stronger. It obviously failed, and now uh, OG is going to have to pay them a visit. OG has finished all the repairs on his house, and uh, the more he thinks about it, the angrier he gets that these followers of Azura, these exiles, attacked him without provocation. And so he is going to go... Show them the error of their ways. He's going to seek retribution, and in the process, he might even consider taking some of them captive. He whistles to all his animals to follow, and it is time for some revenge. He can't let this go unanswered, because if word's getting out that he's becoming powerful, then word also needs to get out that he will not tolerate any incursions onto his property in his domain. He remembers seeing a cave just up in this canyon here the other day when he was out gathering resources. And he recognized the clothing that the people who attacked him were wearing as coming from this cave. So he surmises that this is where their base of operations is. Oh, 
Okay, so uh, what I'm going to actually do here is leave these guys here. And we're going to kind of go in and scout ahead. Because if I take all the animals in just, you know, balls out crazy, then we might, uh, they might kill someone uh, that we want, might want to tame. So uh, most, use, most of the time, the people at the front here are not named. Um, so... Yeah. We'll just we'll double check because like you know they always they can be but they're just not likely to be. All right, let's bring these guys back and let the the team take them out. Okay. Stay back. What are you? You're just a level two archer. A dead level two archer. Sinner's Refuge. OG quietly goes into the cavern. Sneaks around, looks around the corner. And he note, notes, too, that there does appear to be quite a bit of brimstone in this place. Something he may come back for at some point in time. He gets the attention of a level one fighter. <laughs> Not somebody who he's interested in. He's looking for someone who will be worthy of his army. Somebody who's important enough to have an actual name. In most cases. And that will not be these two. Level 3 archer. Okay, yeah, let's dispatch these guys. Okay. After eliminating the first group of enemies, he moves deeper into the cavern and notices that there are more. It wasn't supposed to be like this. That's an armorer two and a dancer. <gasps> Okay, he sees two dancers over that way. Level one and a level one. There's a slight chance he might bring one of those back because he does have some corruption that needs to be removed. So he knocks them out instead of outright killing them for the moment. is oh that's that's a level four taskmaster okay so what we have to do is we have to try and eliminate some of these other ones first without hurting the level four because we gotta knock that one out oh crap we're out of stamina not good zig and zag and zag and zig Oh, uh, that was a bad mistake on your part, buddy. Okay. This is perfect, because we don't have any other interference. Yeah, this is a confessor, so he should be a he should be a level four taskmaster. This is basically what we missed in the purge, so we're getting a second chance here. Ah, beautiful. Okay, let's leave him there and just do one last quick sweep. Um, because I have actually found two named thralls in here before. But I think we got everybody. Nope, there's an archer here. Level two. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely come back in here and get this um, this brimstone. There's lots of brimstone in this cave. 
That was quite fortuitous. Quite fortuitous. So let's get our binding in place. And we're going to pick this guy up and take him home, put him in the wheel, and then we will have a level 4 Taskmaster. That's a really good find. Makes it uh, not hurt quite so bad, you know, that we lost the the one in the purge there. OG comes out of the cave victorious. Instead of killing the ringleader of these followers of Azura, he instead captured the ringleader and he will enslave him. And that is how he shall pay for his crimes against old guy. No, old guy. Who's old guy? <laughs> OG. <laughs> Odiferous Guy Furious. Oh, I should probably take my critters back with me, huh? Actually, no, I'm going to come back and get the sulfur, so let's just leave them here for the moment. Okay, that was a great, that was a great capture. Um, all right, guys, well, I think we're about out of time in this episode, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go here. Uh, I'm going to go back uh, to to the cave there and just farm up all of that um, that brimstone. And then, uh, you know, put, uh, put our new... Uh, tier four taskmaster on the wheel and get him going and uh probably what we'll do what i'm thinking we'll probably do in the next episode is i'm gonna go uh, we're probably gonna go after beastmaster timos um, because he is he, he's a fast leveling thrall but he he has a ton of hit points he has the potential to have like over ten thousand hit points depending upon you know how he levels up so um we might be heading to the jungle in the next episode uh, we do, you know, need to do the dregs too, of course. Um, okay, so yeah, this is a... Uh, I can't... There's two different types of Tier 4 um, Taskmasters that you can get. And I can't remember what the name of them is, but this is the guy that will actually allow us to craft um, even better truncheons than the normal steel ones, I think. Pretty sure that's the type he is. So yeah, that was a super good find. Uh, anyway, yeah, so that is it, guys, for this episode. So, yeah, it was a good episode, man. We had a purge. We defeated the purge with, you know, not really any trouble at all to speak of. We, they did a little damage. We lost the, the Tier 4 Taskmaster, but we ended up getting another one instead. Um, And so, yeah, OG's pretty happy with how things turned out today. So, with that being said, we will uh, see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.